three. Let's take you out. Beautiful eye cam shot in Old Saybrook. The sun is coming up. We've got about another hour to go, but it's already arcing up over the horizon. And that's a pretty, pic pretty picture there in Old Saybrook. So that's good news. We've got more of the same in other parts of the state. So some partial clearing out there. A little dark, a little damp in stores right now. We do have a little bit of isolated shower activity. It's insignificant, though. You can see it here. We had some showers overnight, and that has made the roads a little bit damp for your morning commute. So just budget in a little bit of extra travel time. You can see this, this counterclockwise rotation. Now, here's some good news. Yesterday, this was over here. Now, today, it's over here. So today's going to be another mostly cloudy day with isolated showers. And you can see them out over the open waters of the Atlantic. It's all swinging in with a northeasterly flow. So we are going to call for some isolated showers during the day today. But we actually might see some partial clearing late in the day like we did yesterday. So it's kind of like a rinse and repeat of yesterday, although the temperatures are going to be significantly cooler today by about five to eight degrees than yesterday, and that's because of that northeasterly flow we're getting off the open waters of the Atlantic. Visibility, uh, once again, it's down a little bit in northeast Connecticut, eight miles in Willimantic. It's not horrendous, but I do want to bring that to your attention. And the allergy forecast, this is the reason for the sneezing. Today, not too bad with those cloudy skies and isolated showers. Tomorrow, it starts creeping back up, and then Saturday, we're back to uh, high pollen counts, maple, cedar, juniper, and elm are the culprits. Temperature out there this morning, 45, typical overnight low. We're doing pretty good. 45 in Willimantic and in Norwich. A little bit cooler in northwest, northeast Connecticut, but 50 degrees in New Haven. So a light jacket or a sweatshirt required this morning. We are up from yesterday, anywhere from 1 to 7 degrees better than 24 hours ago. And there are those sustained winds. It's a little breezy out there, 12 to 14 miles an hour. You'll notice the direction out of the north and east, which is never favorable for us. Our early morning future cast tomorrow's weather today shows mostly cloudy skies. I think this is a little overdone in terms of the cloud coverage by later on this afternoon. This is 5 p.m. You'll notice some breaks in the action. And then tonight will be mostly cloudy. Again, a chance for an isolated shower. Tomorrow, here comes some partial sunshine at 5 a.m. And then clouds are back with us. So it's gonna be a kind of a mostly cloudy day with a chance for an isolated shower. But watch what happens at five o'clock, we flip a switch. And from 5 o'clock on Friday, through the night Friday, and right on into the weekend, we're talking about some really lovely weather as this makes a departure and goes out to sea. So here are your headlines. Scattered showers to start, mostly cloudy today, cooler than yesterday. Temperatures will only be between about 52 and 56 degrees. Again, under mostly cloudy skies, maybe maybe some late day clearing. Here's the temperatures. Remember, 68 to 69 is where we should be. We're only going to be in the mid 50s today. And then your seven day forecast includes 60 tomorrow. Here comes a great weekend. 68, 74, head to the beach. 77 on Monday, even better on Monday. And then showers roll back in on Tuesday. But the temperatures remain up and better than average. You'll notice the numbers start creeping into the mid to upper 70s.